number one insecurities. I just hated my teeth. I hated my smile. And it's so crazy because I'm a person that's always laughing, always smiling, and I hate my teeth. That's like the worst combination ever. And, you know, I've trained myself in pictures how to smile. I used to hate when people would take pictures of me at a certain angle because I had a really bad overbite. And it looked worse on, um, I can't remember, my right side. I think it looked worse on my right side. But anyway, I used to just be super, super insecure. Like, oh my gosh. And I said, once I got a big girl job, the first thing I was going to do was fix my teeth. I'm going to get braces. And that's exactly what I did. Once I finished grad school and I got my first big girl job in the corporate world, I got braces. I didn't care how much they cost. I did not care. That was the first thing on the agenda. So I um, moved out here to Texas. And initially, I didn't go right, right away because um, I just was trying to get settled and things like that. And I almost kind of like forgot about it. I started getting into my fitness journey that I almost forgot about my teeth. And then one day I checked my mail and this dentist office had a free consultation um, for braces. And I was like, okay, this is my sign. I'm getting my fitness together. Now I'm gonna get my teeth together and yada 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 and also i was trying to wait until my insurance kicked in which is a whole nother story so yeah it all worked out so i was like i'm gonna go get my free consultation and then like let them tell me what i need to do and we're gonna start the process of me getting my braces and that's exactly what i did so i did that and honey when i went to my consultation they was trying to put braces on me that day and i was like hold up hold up wait a minute let me figure this out. This is a lot. I just came for the free consultation. Um, they was like, yeah, we can get started today. I was like, oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> so I didn't get it that day. I let them kind of tell me the price and things like that. Found out I thought I had insurance, but I really didn't have insurance. Oh, I had insurance, but I didn't know that dental and vision was like a supplement like you gotta get that in addition to your regular health care i thought it was all together you know i never had a big girl job i've been on my parents insurance forever i ain't never had to worry about that so i didn't even know that was a thing so i'm thinking i have that the health and vision and dental is just all one thing when all i had was health insurance and not um dental and I didn't add all that stuff on yet so yeah I got my braces in July the end of July 2018 so because I was going to be paying out of pocket because I didn't have insurance like I thought I had um they gave me a discount originally I want to say I should have asked for my paperwork but I know it was it was either 4500 4, or 5000 They gave me a discount because I was paying out of pocket and I didn't have insurance. So they took off either 1000 or 1500 I can't remember. It's between one of those. But my total ended up being $3,000 for the braces and then 500 for the retainer. And they go ahead and they put everything together so um you know everything is paid for when you're done and they go ahead and give you your retainers because you have to have your retainers when you're done so they go ahead and attach it to the full price so total um i paid three thousand five hundred for my braces so in july i only got the top ones done when i first got them and my orthodontist, that's how she prefers to do them. She likes to um, let you get used to them. And sometimes the pain can be too much for someone um, when you do top and bottom together. And like I said, she wants you to get used to it. So she goes ahead and does the top one first and then she does the bottom one later. So here's where the issues come in, right? So um, tip number one, get 
all your dental work done before you try to get braces. I did not do that and it caused me a lot of issues in the beginning because I didn't get my cleaning before, I didn't get my cavities filled, I didn't get my dental work done. And a lot of that is because I did not know um, that, that you should do that, but I'm telling you guys, you should do that and then your dentist should recommend that. Now, the dentist office that I went to, it's a dentist office and it's an orthodontist in the same building. Like they share office space, one is on this side of the hallway, one's on the other side of the hallway. And so I felt like they should have told me that when I came to my consultation, they should have asked me that. They did not. Um, that's why I said they was real eager. They was literally trying to put verses on me the day of my consultation. So I was just like, okay. But then they put the verses on me and then they're like, oh, have you had a cleaning yet? Oh, have you had an exam from your doctor and all of this? I'm just like, no. And they was like, oh, you should have done that before you got braces. Blase, blase. So, because of that, that prolonged my braces treatment. Because I had to go back to the dentist. After they had put the braces on me, on the top, I had to get a cleaning. I had to get a regular cleaning. I had to get a deep cleaning. Um... So that's like three different visits because they don't do, when they do a deep cleaning, you have to get numbed and all of that. And they don't do um, all of it in one day because it can be a lot. So they do one side and then they do the other side later. So that's three different visits. Um, I had to get two extractions. So I had to get two teeth pulled because the orthodontist needed space. And one of my teeth were broken. It needed to come out. But she also needed extra space, so they had to take another tooth out. So they ended up having to take my braces off, and I was so upset. Like, I literally was crying in the dentist's office when they told me that because I just thought, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I finally am able to get braces. Now y'all told me that I got to take them off and basically start over. So I was, I was so upset. So... Save yourself the headache and get all your dental work done first. Make sure that you are good with your cavities because I still have to get my cavities filled. I have like two cavities that I need to get filled. But at this point, I was like, they was like I was good with the cavities, but the other stuff I had to get done first um, before they could continue with my braces. So make sure you get all that done. And you got to clear from your doctor, your dentist, that it's okay for you to get braces because it makes the process much longer and much worse when you do it how I did it, kind of backwards. Um, um, the process for me was, it was a little shaky. It had its moments, but overall, it was pretty smooth. Um, braces are something that you definitely have to get used to. You are not going to... <laughs> be able to eat and things like that the way that you think that you are um especially not in the beginning after a while you're gonna get used to it and it's gonna be like it's gonna be nothing but in the beginning listen to them when they tell you what you can eat what you can't eat it's a lot of stuff that you cannot eat when you have braces on i will say listen to them and don't eat this stuff okay because it can really mess you up and it can make things painful. Um, after a while, you will, like I said, you will get used to it. Like, I had got to the point where I was like, I could bite into an apple and you're not supposed to do that. I don't recommend, don't do that. But I'm just saying, that's how used to it you get that you even forget that you have them in. And like, you know, you're not supposed to eat chips, popcorn, candy, anything type of chewy thing that's supposed to have gum i think you can have sugar-free gum but my orthodontist told me no gum um it's so much stuff you cannot bite into anything so like you have to especially when you first get the braces you will not be able to bite like even if you trying to break the rules you ain't gonna be able to do it because it's gonna hurt and <laughs> 
you just gotta learn how to eat with them. It's very, very hard. You have to brush your teeth so many times a day when you first get them because just food gets everywhere and it's just a mess. So it's a process, but you do get used to them. Um, biters, if you have to get biters, y'all, be aware that you will not be able to eat, okay? Bite blockers, that's what they're called. Bite blockers, they sit on the back of your teeth. They like, mine were blue. They put like this mold or something like that and they kind of build it up and it just, it stays on the back of your teeth and it keeps you from biting down on your braces because what they're trying to do is correct your bite because your teeth are not laying correctly. So when you have the bottom braces on, like for me, I had an overbite. So my top teeth would come down over my bottom one. With the braces on, if I they didn't put the bite blockers on, my teeth would just hit up against the brackets on the bottom and it would uh, break them. So to keep them from doing that, they put the bite blockers on so you can't bite all the way down. That, oh my gosh, it didn't hurt them putting it in. And it didn't hurt while it was in, but you cannot eat with that in. You have to get used to eating with that. And it is so hard. They did not tell me that at the orthodontist. I came home and I tried to eat and almost died because I was choked trying to eat. You cannot bite down at all. Your teeth don't come all the way together. That's the whole point of them. So you have to learn how to eat like that. That takes you about a good two weeks for me. It took me about a good two weeks to learn how to eat with that. Most annoying thing ever. I hated it. I wanted to cry because I couldn't eat like I was just like drinking smoothies all day every day because it was just so so much so bad like I hated every bit of that so beware if you have to get by uh bite blockers that that is the case um I told y'all how much they cost uh yes extraction so sometimes you will have to get your teeth removed if you do not have enough space for me i had all of my teeth all of them my wisdom teeth i have all of my wisdom teeth everything so she had no room to straighten my teeth like for my teeth to move because my mouth was full of teeth so as I said, I had a broken tooth that needed to come out anyway. It wasn't even a full tooth, y'all. It was so bad. It needed to come out. And she took out another one. She also recommended that I get all of my wisdom teeth taken out, but I just could not do that at the time because, first of all, I live out here by myself, and you got to have somebody to kind of take care of you for a couple of days when you get your wisdom teeth taken out because you have to, like, go under. So I just didn't do that. I'm planning on doing it at some point, but not right now but um yeah so i had to get two teeth removed some people don't have to um but i did i know like watching a lot of braces video a lot of people like you're like oh i don't want to have to get my teeth removed i don't want to get teeth pulled but you may have to so be aware of that um and if you don't have insurance that can be expensive so prepare for that oh I forgot to mention, um, like I was saying about my insurance, I would want braces so bad that when they told me I really didn't have insurance, I went ahead and got braces anyway, and I paid per month. So my monthly payments was $162 a month. Um, and I paid that for probably like six or seven months until my insurance kicked in. So, um, yeah, because I got it in the law, like I said. Um, and when you have insurance, unless it's a life changing event, you cannot make any changes into your insurance until open season, which is in November. Um, and a life changing event is like you get married, someone passes away, you have a baby or you adopt. Those are like the only things that you're allowed to change, make any changes to your insurance before open season. Open season is not until November. And then the changes that you make in November don't go into effect until the new year. So from um, July 
to November, I had to pay. And then it didn't take an effect until January. In January, we went into furlough. And so I had to pay up until March, I think, when we were we went back to work. So yeah, so from July to March, I had to pay out of my pocket. $162 a month. After that, my insurance kicked in and I had to pay any more after that. So, um, that's how much I paid, which wasn't really bad. I mean, you know, for me, but it depends on your budget, if it's in your budget or not. Um, I got my bottom ones on the spring of 2019. I was about to say 18, 19. So I got the bottom braces. So I had my top ones on much longer than I had my bottom ones. Um, for all those reasons, I told y'all before with my dental work that I had to get done, it kind of set me back a lot. So uh, she usually doesn't wait that long to put the bottom ones on, but my situation was different. So that's when I got the bottom. Um, pain overall, I. <laughs> I honestly did not have a bad experience. Before I got braces, I used to watch a lot of these type of videos and people would talk about how painful braces were. Um, there were moments where it hurt, uh, especially in the beginning, but the pain on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst, I probably experienced four, maybe five. That's it for me throughout the whole process. And that's like when you get your teeth tightened, your braces, stuff like that. I got power chains. Everybody's talking about how painful power chains are. Never painful for me. I don't know what people... I was so scared when they told me I had to get a power chain because people were talking about how painful it was. And it wasn't painful at all. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? So... I had power chains for like the last probably six, seven months of my treatment and I had no issues. So I don't know about that. Um, as far as taking care of your braces, it's so important to listen to your orthodontist and what they tell you to do as far as your oral hygiene. Make sure you are flossing like you have to floss, guys. Flossing is going to be hard, but you have to do it. And brushing your teeth after every meal. Um, now, in the beginning, you're going to have to brush your teeth after every meal because you're not going to know how to eat with them. Eventually, you'll learn how to eat with them and you won't eat where there's just food completely all over your mouth. At least I learned how to eat with them where it wasn't like that but in the beginning i did brush my teeth after every single thing i ate because i had to because otherwise it would just be everywhere um but you definitely if you don't do it after every meal you have to do it in the morning and at night like flossing and brushing your teeth and i would recommend a oh my top kind of i would recommend some type of electric toothbrush this is a Philips uh, Sonicare. You don't have to get this. This one is kind of expensive. I got this for Christmas. Um, this was, this in Walmart is like $51. So you don't have to get one this expensive. I didn't always have this one. I just had one, an Oral-B one. I think it's Oral-B. I don't know, but this is like one you get. It's like maybe $10 and then the heads are like $5 on them. This one is more expensive, like I said. This one's like $51, and the head replacements are like $26. So, this one's kind of expensive, but I'm really into taking care of my teeth now. So, this, I wanted something like this. So, make sure you use it. This will help you out a lot with brushing your teeth, making sure that you are doing a good job. And it kind of does it for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I definitely recommend an electric one. My dentist told me to get an electric toothbrush and it really changed the game for me. Another thing with flossing, it's not easy to floss with braces, but it's so necessary. Um, 
my dentist recommend that I get these. These are by Oral B and it's called Super Floss. And they are like specifically for braces, as you can see on there. And I don't know if I can show you, but the thing when you are flossing with braces, you have to get them under your brackets. And the orthodontist will give you like some threaders. I mean, little things you put floss through and thread it so you can like get under it. But these have it like built in already. You see this long piece right here is built for you to go underneath your bracket and then floss like that. And then it has a soft piece on it too. So if you have sensitive gums, you can use a soft piece and then it has a regular floss on the end. So this is very tight. So, um, yeah, I love these. I can't, they're like two or three dollars a pack. I went through a lot of these and I still use these now with my braces off. So use that and then also use a water pick. Um, this is the water pick brand. I got this from Target. This is about $30, $40, I think, in Target. I had one that I got from Amazon that I asked a lot better than this one, but the charger broke and I couldn't charge it anymore. So, um, I got this one. I was like out of town and it broke on me and I needed, I live by these y'all. Even if I don't brush my teeth during each meal, I would go through with the water pick and get all that food and stuff out and just make my mouth just feel so much better. But yeah, definitely invest in this. This is like one of the most effective ways to floss. I actually do both. So you need this. Definitely recommend that. Um, you will need wax because your bracket will cut your face. I mean, not your face. <laughs> the inside of your jaw at some point. Um, it's kind of inevitable, but you'll get used to that. Um, just get you some wax. Okay. So my camera um, cut off, but... I'm almost done. But like I said, this has been like such a journey. I had braces for almost three years for the top, not the bottom. But um, yeah, it's been a good journey. I would not, I would, I would say I wouldn't change anything, but I would. <laughs> I would definitely got got my um, dental work done before. But other than that. There's nothing I would change. I'm just so happy with my results. And I'm going to be smiling like this from now on. <laughs> the next step now is to get my teeth whitened. Because, listen, they're not as white as I want them to be. But, you know, it's okay. One step at a time. Um, But, yeah, I'm so happy. Um, I hope I covered everything. Um, it's a lot. It's been, like I said, almost three years. So hopefully I didn't forget anything. But I feel like I, um, gave y'all most of everything. But yeah, I had a good experience. Thank you for the people over at Element Dental here where I live. They did a really good job of taking care of me these years. And I look forward to my smile improving even more. So, like I said, I'll have all of the information down in the description for my doctor and all of that. So, if you're in the area, if you know, you know, um, <laughs> you can go check her out if you are looking to um, get the braces done. She did a really good job. She's a really good doctor. So. Um, if you guys have any questions, anything I did not cover, please drop down in the comments or you want me to do a more detailed video about something. Um, I'll try to post some pictures of my progress somewhere in the video. Um, it's kind of showing you my before and after. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this with my experiences, different things that I've decided to do. Um, just give me some video ideas. And don't forget to like this video so I know you like this type of content. Um, um, that's it. So, until <laughs> next time, bye guys.